everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you another what's new video. This time it is for the month of November. I know my last one went up a little bit late, but there are so many launches since we are on full holiday swing now that I wanted to make sure you guys know all the goods that are coming out. So whether it be for yourself or for your loved ones for the holidays coming, you know what's available to you, what's hot, and what's going on. So first and foremost is from Max and Me, and I've been hearing a little bit about this mist for quite some time, so I'm so happy it's finally launched because I really do love this line. And this is the Intuitive Botanical Facial Mist. Now, I'm not gonna be doing this product justice because there's so much that goes into this, and um, I hope to get a little bit more of an understanding of this product soon. That way I can bring you guys a more in-depth review of it. But on the surface, it is meant to be a just a calming, hydrating, overall pleasant sort of mist, good for everything. A lot of the Maximi skincare line is geared towards skin that um, is sensitive or can't is just acneic and maybe a little bit problematic and this is just really calming and soothing. It does have blue tansy in here, which I love the scent of that. It does have um, a blend of hydrosols as well as essential oils, including Palo Santo, both the, both the essential oil and the hydrosol. And I love that scent as well. It's really relaxing. It has a really nice, just fine mist. So I like to just mist myself throughout the day with this because it feels really cooling and very very calming and just take a minute to yourself and do that. I like to spray it on top of my makeup to sort of bring my life back a little bit if I've over powdered or something like that. It is gorgeous and um, there's also calendula in here just a lot of really soothing properties and I think this would work for any skin type because I have more dry skin it would work for prob problematic skin um, max and me is one of my favorites and um, this is not a cheap one but it is a gorgeous product if you are a mist sort of person Moving right along from Henne. Henne has come in hot with quite a few releases this year. And this is a lip mask, which I am really excited to see join the bunch. It is $37 and it is a little bit larger than their typical lip balm, in case you guys were wondering. Um, and this lip mask has sea buckthorn, evening primrose inside of it. Um, it is USDA organic and it does have this thick, balmy texture to sort of just slap a layer on the lips. You leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then you can rub it away. I do think it's a really nice product. Is it like a miracle worker? Like all of a sudden my lips, they're cured? No, but for nighttime, I need this sort of treatment. And I think as we get into the winter months, this is gonna be amazing. This would be a really, really easy um, Christmas gift for someone. Um, male, female, or otherwise, it's beautiful and um, and a nice one for the winter months, like I said. Moving along from Ficlo, they released another little lip duo, which I'm very excited about. This one's specifically geared towards the holidays, and inside are two limited edition shades, I believe. I don't know if they're gonna become part of the permanent line, but they are amazing. You guys know I love these things. They have vegetable collagen inside of them. They have a natural sort of plumping effect as well. Beet extract, and basically, Basically, they just make the lips look healthy, full, juicy, and glossy while providing a little bit of moisture to the mouth as well, which I love. So in here, we're getting two shades of the red variety, the first of which is what I'm wearing on my mouth right now, mixed with something else, but it's majority this, and this is the shade Juice. Juice is a really beautiful, um, sort of sparkly. It picks up on the lips a little bit, but it's not overly glittery. It is micro glitter, and it's just a really pretty sheer warm red shade love that one a lot really quite wearable and then we have one that's a little bit deeper it is the shade deep and um, this one just a little bit more sultry it has that nice dark sort of plummy color to it with a little bit of red it's really pretty and good for the faint of heart when it comes to a bold lip just because it's a little bit easier to pull off you could wipe it off a little bit easier and um, you don't need to be as precise with it but both are really pretty and of course an homage to the holidays with that beautiful um red tone that they both come in so this is going to retail for 69 dollars. it is an 84 dollars value again an amazing gift for someone in your life who likes lip gloss and likes red shades if not even just picking up one of them in um a shade you think they might like i have swatched them all so i'll link that down below to help you guys is another great gift option because these are some of my favorite products of the year right here 
Moving on to Mamiel released a beautiful new product and uh, and it's a new one to me. It is the De Mamiel Skin Recovery Blend and it is a press serum. And like me, you're probably thinking, well, what exactly is a press serum? Well, a press serum is sort of the best of both worlds. Um, it does have the restorative actives of a serum and then you get the intense nourishment of a balm. So it sort of marries the two together. You can see the texture of it here. It's just a sample, so it will be pressed. It's very interesting. It almost looks kind of like cotton candy. And then when you rub it into the skin, it does turn into more of like an oily balm texture. So it's really hydrating, really rich. I have not used this on the skin yet, but I'm really excited to do so. You can see the color of it is very reminiscent of the May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon. I do believe it has blue tansy inside of here, which gives it that beautiful color but it's meant to repair, soothe, revive. Yeah, it definitely has blue tansy, I smell it. Um, repair, soothe, and revive with a blend of five um, anti-inflammatory anti -inflammatory blue essential oils. So I'm gonna include the full ingredients list down below so you guys can check it out. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but it's meant to be for skin that is damaged, dry, flaking, in just need of a little bit of a rescue. This is going to come in and recover you, as the name says. Moving on, a new product from Agent Natchier that I do not have here in front of me, but um, I will throw up a picture of it right here. It is their new Holy Water, and this is their Hyaluronic Acid and Rose Toner. Um, this is meant to do it all. Basically, tighten, brighten, firm, tone, um, plump, Firm, did I already say firm, but like definitely emphasis on firm. Um, do a little bit of all of that, and hyaluronic acid is great for hydrating skin. Um, it does also have Bulgarian rose, lavender water, pearl powder, and pitaya, all of which act together to sort of increase that cellular turnover, hydrate the skin, and make it look as young and youthful as possible. So that sounds so up my street. And if it's in a rose scent, I'm even more here for it. Like I said, haven't tried it yet, but if you guys want a review, let me know. Maybe I can review that and the Max and Me one. Maybe I could review a couple in the same vein, maybe the Optimus from Maya Chia, but I really like that it has hyaluronic acid in there because that agrees so well with my dry skin. Aster and Bay, they have released three new bathing products, and I haven't taken a bath in quite some time, but I do have one of them here, and I think it is going to inspire me to jump into the bath. Um, I really wanna do um, one of those soon and relax after work. I'm on my feet all day, so I think I can really benefit from one. But anyway, first up is the Greenhouse Bathing Salts. This has French green clay inside of there, as well as dead sea salts. So this, of course, is gonna help detox the body, um, release any of those impurities, and then when you're in the hot water as well, it's a really nice medley for relaxation. They do also have the Night Bloom bathing salts and these are have um, Himalayan pink salt. They also have Hawaiian lava salt as well as dried petals that are blended in there. So this one is a little bit more soothing, has more of that floral scent as well. And finally, look how large this is. I think the other two might be this size as well. This is the Sacred Wood blend, uh, Blending Milk bathing milk and this is the one that I was really excited about. Um, it says float away on a wave of skin softening coconut milk scented with essential oils distilled from the sacred woods of Scotland, Japan, and South America. Um, their spiritual practices and rituals. They've combined the milky sweetness of coconut to delight the senses. And um, this is basically good for sort of meditating, relaxing in the bath as well. I smelt it immediately when I took it out of the box. It smells beautiful. And I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to have more of a nourishing um, property to it as well since it is more of that milk and not the salts. But once I try this, I'll get back to you guys. But again, a great gift for someone in your life who works too hard or needs a little bit of relaxation. Just inspire them to do so with a little bit of this. Um, I've been loving the new releases from Aster and Bay, so I cannot wait to try this and report back to you guys. Next up from Cosmetology, we have three new hand soap scents. You guys know I'm a really big fan of these. The only thing to keep in mind is that it may get clogged here. You just take a toothpick and pick it out and then it's really easy to use um, just because they're really, really natural ingredients so that buildup can sort of happen sometimes. They last forever and the three new scents include Frosted Pine. The one I have right here is Candy Cane Clean and this is a peppermint vanilla scent. Cannot wait to use this. I'm finishing up another one. Then this one's going 
one right on the sink. And then they do also have a holiday spice, which I believe is sort of an orange and clove sort of mix. I love that blend as well. I might pick some more of these up. This makes a really good stocking stuffer, I think, if you really like your bath and body work kind of scents. This is where that comes in. It's a lot more natural and um, is a fabulous, fabulous line. I'll leave my full brand review of Cosmetology down below in case you guys are curious. And finally, from Meow Meow Tweet, we have this lavender coconut milk shampoo bar. I do believe they already have an avocado and rosemary one, which I have yet to try. These are $12, so really reasonable. Um, Lush does stuff like this, yet I'm not a big fan of Lush um, for obvious reasons. Um, but look how beautiful it is. Smells really nice, of course, like lavender. Again, haven't used this yet, but I am taking a shower this evening and I will definitely be using it. As I was saying, um, these are fair trade. They're all made by hand. They're vegan. They're just, I'm really just into this brand. I love the packaging that they always include. And also what's really cool about the shampoo bars, it's not only used for shampoo, you can use it all over your body. So it's a two in one. I think this is a good one for the man in your life. Maybe um, not this particular scent, unless he's a lavender guy. I mean, hey, I'm here for that. Um, but, um, I think that's just a really cool idea, really great stocking stuffer at $12 as well. So a lot of these I'm just throwing in there. A lot of these make great gifts, of course, they are holiday launches, so I think that's sort of, they have that idea in mind. And finally, quite a few launches have happened this month, just in, just in the way of brands as well as last month, and I wanted to make sure that I included them here so you guys know that they're live on the website and ready to shop. We have Woodlot, a brand I love. They have a couple mists, a lot of candles, really gorgeous line. They have Ayuna, a very gorgeous high-end skincare line that I have tried quite a few pieces from. So if you want a review of that line, please do let me know. I could do that for you. Air Perez is launching very, very soon. Right now we have um, four of these beautiful eye palettes up, which I will be reviewing soon, but the full makeup line just about will be on the website shortly. Um, not the skincare, it might already be live. So I will have a link to these and the um, full products page. You guys can check it out. Lil Fox is also launching on the Integrity Botanicals website or has launched. Sorry, I don't know when this video is going up just so you guys know. A Miami-based skincare line that I have used for quite some time. Again, let me know anything you want to see particularly reviewed from the line. And finally, RMS has launched on the Integrity Botanicals website. So much good makeup. And whether it be before this video or after this video, a one brand tutorial is coming or has already come. So I will link it or subscribe so that you guys do not miss it because I do upload here twice weekly and I don't want you guys to miss any of my videos. In the meantime, all of these products, they're gonna be ready to shop. Links to click in that description box down below. I will have price points. I'll have um, ingredients for certain products as well. If not, they are in the product listing for you guys to explore further. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you were the most excited about. There's a lot of good stuff here. Lots of good stuff here that I still need to play with. So I can't wait to bring you guys some more reviews, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the consistent love and support. I appreciate you guys so much and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.